Hello everyone, I'm going to go over <clears throat> uh, an application for logarithms. Uh, it has to deal with uh, our new way of measuring intensity of <clears throat> uh, earthquakes. Uh, in this case, we are given uh, the <clears throat> magnitude of one earthquake, uh, which is 4.8, and then a second earthquake occurs, and we know that it's uh, significantly <clears throat> larger than the last one. In this case, it's 600 times bigger than the last one. So how do we figure out what <clears throat> the magnitude of the second quake is from that? Well, um, if I go to the text here, what we're going to be using is this, right? So when we are trying to figure out uh, <clears throat> the intensity of, of a, an earthquake, our, our current systems, uh, MMS here, uh, is going to be what uh, we're going to be using for M, where S is what the size, the <clears throat> seismic moment is, uh, and S sub zero is the baseline measurement for it as well. So you can see where all of these pieces um, <clears throat> kind of come together with it, but we're going to be using this. And in this case, right, our magnitude for the first earthquake is at 4.8. So essentially what we're doing is we're going to take this, we're going to replace M with 4.8. <clears throat> and the intensity is, is going to have to deal uh, with this S here. So we want to isolate this down to S. So what that means is we're going to have to move this thing over. So uh, we would multiply both sides by 3 over 2 here. And <clears throat> uh, that 3 over 2 times 4.8. That's going to give us 7.2. And then we have the logarithm, which is s over s sub 0. Let's see how I do that. That's going to be like that. So, so now that we have this, we need to remember that this logarithm is really log base 10. So in order to isolate this uh, to, uh, to this s over s sub 0, we could convert it over by raising both sides to the 10th. So we'd have 10 to the 7.2, and that's going to equal uh, 10 to the log of this s over s sub 0. Right? So it would be like that. <clears throat> but the deal is, right, the reason why we want to do that is we have a logarithmic property which essentially uh, says that when the bases are the same, we can cancel them out. So since we have these logarithms uh, at the same base, then that means they'll cancel out. And what's left is what's inside that logarithm, so that s over s sub 0 here. And then what's left with this is to multiply uh, that s sub 0 over. So that's going to end up there. Now, what our first <clears throat> earthquake is now. Right, so this is this is how we can figure it out for the first bit. <clears throat> now, if we want to uh, figure out how it relates to the second earthquake, right, we we're going to do the same kind of thing, but we we know it as a comparison a comparison to this. So our second earthquake is 600 times as much, right? It's 600 times stronger. So if this is our first, we would take this and multiply it by 600, like that. <clears throat> um, and this shows uh, the intensity uh, at that point. This is that seismic, what do they call it here? This is the, um, <clears throat> this is what uh, the actual uh, seismic moment is going to be for it. But this is something that we can plug back into our original function here, right? So we're trying to figure out, well, what is the result where our first one was this 4.8? What happens, right? What is M when uh, our second As this intensity, we can substitute that in for our s there. And notice that uh, because we use this format, we'll have that s sub zero cancel on top and bottom. <clears throat> and 
and we're just left with uh, something that we can actually calculate. We can send it through and get <clears throat> two thirds log. Again, log on its own is log base 10 of this 600 times 10 to the 7.2. But it's a way. It's a way to shift it when, uh, <clears throat> when these earthquakes are so dramatic. We can we can still quantify it uh, in a in a way that uh, that is meaningful. So it's so the range of it isn't very dramatic. And it is again um, more effective than uh, using the Richter scale because the Richter scale uh, <clears throat> uh, would would show the intensity at one particular place, not throughout. Uh, so, of course, if there are any questions, please let me know. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Have a good day.